Along the nail and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, information, education, guidance, advice. I want to continue uh, from the last video about words having power. And in the Torah, we're commanded to distance ourselves uh, from a false word from Dvar Shekhar. A false word is in Exodus 23, verse 7. And um, no other commandment is phrased that way. It doesn't say distance yourself from uh, idolatry, distance yourself from adultery, distance yourself from theft, distance yourself from devar sheker, a false word. Keep your distance. Integrity is more than just a virtue. It is a character trait. It, uh, it defines who you are, defines a human being. And um, falsehood can swallow up a person. A falsehood sheker can overwhelm a person. It Because uh, we try to justify ourselves. Ah, it's just a little white lie. I'm bending the truth. I'm doing for a good cause. Uh, nothing really bad is going to come out of it. Now, all of this may be true. But the uh, end result will be that the person lied. Lies are strong. Let me give you an example. You take uh, 99 parts truth, you had one part lie. What have you got? A lie. 99 parts lie, you had one part truth, it's a lie. Lie has tremendous, tremendous strength. It was Reb, uh, Reb Zusha Vanipol uh, who rendered this, uh, this posik, this, this verse, distance yourself from uh, a false word. Exodus 23, 7, he viewed it like this, distancing yourself from a, far, uh, from a false word, from a word of falseness. With that lie, we distance ourselves from the Creator. When one stretches the truth, he's not only transgressing the commandment, He's also transgressing the principles that govern a relationship with his fellow man, and he's also transgressing the principles that define man's relationship with the Creator. Distance yourself from a false word. A false word made for a good reason is still a falsehood. It's not good. And our children who watch us bending the truth, saying white lies, Children sometimes tend to outdo their parents for good and for bad. Our bending the truth, our white lies become serious lies for them. That's what they learn. God forbid. Um, it not only leads to other sins, it, 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 uh, it has a double effect on children. God forbid. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.